Korean athlete with a height advantage. Going up for the head straight away. Taipei trying to cut underneath. Korean athlete does seem to change, up, change stance more using both legs. That's something we do see in Taekwondo probably more than other kicking arts in that you do change your stance, you don't have your favourite side. Well, you have your favourite side, but you don't have the... You know, there's more exchanges off the back leg and off alternate sides. Yeah, you kind of... Try not to play into your opponent's favourite side. You don't want them to feel comfortable in the stance that they're in. A closed stance or an open stance, and depending on what leg they prefer, you try and take that their preferred option away from them. No points as yet. Halfway through the first round. Will it be particularly accurate as yet? It's quite, quite a sloppy opening. A few exchanges. No real impacts onto the body armors like we've seen in previous matches today. Wang there goes in for the body off the front leg. Good defense by Taipei, something that we saw in the first semi-final. Good defense, good cover. It's gonna be difficult for the Korean to get in there. So Korea red, Chinese Taipei in blue. No points in the first round. Got a medal in Messi first round. But as we expected, but both athletes looking just to close down the distance on their first and then bring it down over to the body or try a flick up to the, the high section. Looking to capitalize on their second or third technique. That's the first round of the World Championship final. Lever wants to make help him active. Just not seen the nice scoring techniques we've seen in previous um, semi-final matches. They've been cancelling each other out. Range is a little bit sloppy. Let's see if they can do it a little bit different in the second round. Korean's been called again. Okay, just in the case, so to get onto the mat, onto the mat as quickly as you can. Going high there. And it makes contact, but not scoring. I see a, an appeal here. Well, the judges have put their hands up, so that'll be considered first. What will happen is if one of the judges thinks there's a clear score, they will indicate it to the others, will confer. If it's not clear, if it is clear, they'll award the point. If not, if there's agreement, they'll award the point. If not, then the coach has the option to make a video replay appeal. But in that instance, the judges awarded three points. It did look like it was a good impact. And Taipei will appeal. They believe it hit onto the side of the electronic helmet, not on the face. That's right, the kick had to go to the face. That's all the judges can score because the PSS head guard determines whether a kick is to the head or not. It's a little bit of one of those grey areas because you can impact to the face and the foot carry on to touch the head guard, but we'll see it in slow motion, see. I think there was some face contact in there. It did seem to be from that image. Let's have a look again, hopefully. And just remember, if you can just see in the top left-hand corner there, that is what the judges are seeing. That is the imagery that the judges are seeing. I think he's going to lose his card, the Taipei coach. He is, rejected. it's rejected. That might cost him later on, let's hope not. He picks up another point. You get a Kyungo for falling over. The career just picked up a point on the counter as Taipei's pressing out. 
leaving herself a little bit more open. Got to be careful here, not to be too keen to get it back and get countered. Could be Kyungo there. Got her first point and she's pushed Korea out. A bit careless of the Korean there to allow herself to be pushed out of the ring. And she's getting close to the edge again. You think she'd be moving more around her opponent. She's nearly there, she's going to get it. There'll be another Kyungo against Korea. I just wonder if Taipei's first point was actually scored out of bounds. I'm not sure if you've seen anything there, Mike. She was kicking it, she was moving forward, so I'd give her the benefit of the doubt. But I just don't understand why the Korean athlete allowed herself to be taken out of the ring twice there. It just seemed really She doesn't seem lazy. that physically strong either, for me personally. The, the Taipei athlete is definitely the stronger of the two athletes. and Even though she is smaller, she carries her strength well in her build. There's a strong punch there that didn't score. Definitely think the Korean athlete would be more mobile at this time. She's very she close to that boundary again. This time, stopping, holding her ground. That's more like it. Now you can see her moving around, but she is skirting around the edges, so she needs to be careful. She definitely doesn't seem to have the same strength that the Taipei athlete has, but she's holding on to, literally holding on to that lead. Closing moments of the second round. Taipei will be feeling quite frustrated. She's a stronger athlete. She's the most proactive one. Currently three points behind, but that could be just one headshot. She goes to the back kick. I don't really know what to make of that, Luke. She's just the Korean athlete just seemed to be ticking over there. I mean, we saw the Brazilian get severely punished in the men's semi-final for starting to cruise, but the Korean athlete there, Lim, just seemed to be in slow motion. She seemed very lethargic, but I think that's the way she plays. That's her kind of a game. She's a very cancellation, messy type of fighter. There's, she's really making it difficult for Taipei to make any sort of ground, to make the, her techniques count. She's just cancelling and making it very messy. But she's also draining the Chinese Taipei athlete. She's using so much energy on techniques and kicks that aren't really being rewarded on the scoreboard and being cancelled out underneath by the Korean athlete. Well, let's see if the Taipei athlete can score now. Yun Wen Wang in blue. Lin Gun Biol in red. Korean definitely playing a spoiling game, but was got caught game towards the end of the Very Taipei close pushing to forwards again. That's it. It's the second. But she's picked up a point which she cancel out with the two Kyungos. Six three, still still a three point advantage. Taipei goes high but hasn't got the same reach and a Korean kick high then. And she says, Yes, I hit. She's indicating to a coach make an appeal. It that did first Take glance for me. I think that was the side of the helmet at first glance. As the Taipei athlete looked to turn away, you'll see. Well, the Korean was quite determined. She was very confident. She started indicating the coach straight away. <laughs> yep, very clearly there, claiming a face kick. Here's our video replay. Can't tell from that angle whether it's the face or the head. You can see the symbol in, though. Sometimes athletes can get a bit carried away because they get unsighted when they're kicking. Sometimes they don't. Actually, they can feel a contact on their foot, but sometimes they don't know what they can hit. Now there, you can just see the left-hand side the impact. Started high, looked like he was going to hit the head guard. That pulled back possibly to the face. The image is not clear enough from us from this side. That angle is just a bit late. I think that's just after the kick, so. We'll leave this one to the judges to decide and not offer our expert opinions in this instance. It's Barbara Marion there from Canada.
It's accepted. Denis Oju for France. Barbara Marion from Canada. Two very senior, experienced video replay judges who said yes, that was a point. So Korea now leading by nine points to three. Halfway through the second round, third round, final round. Korea as far as this, I thought she was going to hit one then for being out she just the kept, She just kept one foot inside of the ring, just. Took another point as well. Nice reverse attempt by Taipei. And again, a back kick attempt by Wang. Less than a minute, she needs to get these points back. Another attempt. She's, She's going not, for it. Just not finding the, the right contact. Her arm guard's risen up towards oh, her shoulder there, so she needs to correct that. It would restrict her movement, obviously, and her ability to defend herself. She needs to do it quickly so that she isn't given a warning for uh, delaying, and the referee gets involved there to speed up the process. Last 45 seconds. Wang really needs to get these spinning kicks or headshots in. And tries for one, low back goes kick. low, and she's going to penalise for that. Looking frustrated now. She can't get inside the long legs of the Korean who goes up for a headshot. She's managed to stay inside the ring now. So we've got an appeal, appeal by the Korean coach for a headshot. So, his athlete seven points up. Less than 30 seconds. I think that was the chin of the head guard. Like I say, the, the always can remember that the video review judges have a different image than what we have. Three cameras in place around the ring. Taipei unlucky not to score to the body there because she pulled back and impacted with the toes. If she'd have uh, pushed her foot forward, she could have got a point. Green coach clapping there, just trying to influence the judges as he's studying the image. I think this will be rejected. I think it's too close to call. I think they might be pointing out there that's hitting the head guard. Looking for another camera angle. Looking for th the third camera angle. There's two automatic camera imagery. And then there's a third that can be introduced if it's not clear. And this is a new system that's been used in the World Championships. And it's going to slow the uh, end of this match down quite a bit. Has a look for this third image. In the Olympic Games, we actually use five cameras. One from each side of the surrounding square of the contest area and one overhead camera. World Championships is three cameras two main cameras and then a backup and we're just waiting from the imagery from the backup camera to see it actually comes takes some time for this to be processed live imagery going for the first two cameras. The third one is recording camera, so they're bringing a, a memory card. So it's taken a while, and this, this new system 
It's just been a little bit frustrating for some of the coaches as the video replay, we, we try, as a judge, you try to do the video review in under one minute, but we've already exceeded that now. So there's only 29 seconds on the clock, but we could be another minute or two before a decision is made on the video review. Yeah, this review is taking a good three or four minutes already. And they have to take the imagery back, so... Also, this is going to have a, an effect on the two players as their bodies start to cool down. Their thought process, maybe their nerves start building. The uh, type of athlete looking to a coach for advice. She'll be hoping that the three points won't be added and it remains a seven point. It's rejected, it's rejected. So we're underway, the seven point stairs there, are, seven point difference. Taipei comes in for a reverse kick. She knows she's got to get these big scoring points, big scoring kicks in. She's chasing the crane down. She is kicking, but she's going to go out of the contest area again, so she will get the Kyongo. Five warnings now for Korea. Big punch, punch. by Wang that scores. Six points difference, two headshots, a bad kick, another Kyongo. Five points difference, five seconds. Korea is still working. One so. second. I think mean, Korea is a world champion. That's it. Great. Lim Gyumbo from Korea, the 2014 World Junior Silver Medalist, goes one better at the senior level and she is world champion in the minus 50 kilo 53 kilogram female division at the World Championships. She's today's first world champion here in Chelyabinsk. The actual video review there just took the impetus off at the end of the match there. But all credit to Lim from Korea. This young athlete, part of the Korean development program, has proven that it's working well and she's taken the gold medal. Coach is delighted. 